Good morning from Venice Beach. Uh, this is last night's home. Uh, that is Abbot Kenny. If you know where I am, the beach is to the right, like two or three blocks. Uh, today we got to do some errands for Dan the Adventure Bus. Uh, one of which is properly installing these license plates um, to the vehicle. What's another one? Well, I can't really forget. I can't really forget. <laughs> so it's still early. I can't really remember. Well, let's go to the hardware store first. In case anybody doesn't know, these uh, standard license plate holes are too big for uh, screws. They're big enough for lag screws, but I'm going to have to drill new holes and I'm thinking to do it at an angle so then if I come across a red light camera, they won't see it. Alright, we are in action. Hopefully if a red light camera goes off like this and they try and zoom in, they won't really be able to see what the heck is going on. So, so there, take that, red light cameras. Not that I plan on blasting through any. Another thing on the to-do list is brakes. As you remember from a few videos, brakes are all smoky, got kind of freaked out. Maybe a month or so before that when I was in Portland, I stopped by a brake place and they were saying, you don't just need pads, but you need like brake servicing. Uh, honestly, those smoky brakes kind of freaked me out. So I called up my buddy Micah, who helped me in the beginning when I first got the bus with, with some things on the engine. So you're going to meet Micah, a really nice guy. Uh, he's a, a mechanic over at Lamborghini in uh, Los Angeles, so I feel like I got some good help. You know, if you can work on a Lamborghini, I'm sure we can tackle some Ford brakes <laughs> together. So that's awesome, because then I can save some money, I can get the original Ford parts. And, uh, and then be super safe from, from here on out for sure as far as the brakes go. But just as, you, uh, just as a reference, if anybody out there, there's so many people who are like, Jax, I love what you're doing, I wanna get a bus myself or a van, and like I fully support that, but you should know the reality of owning a used vehicle. It is a mechanical device. Mechanical devices all fail at some point or they all have something wrong with them. Um, and especially when you're pushing around like, eight or nine thousand pounds in a vehicle uh, there are a lot more things to go wrong um, so that being said do be encouraged by what I'm doing and if you do want to save money or do some epic travels for sure I highly recommend a school bus or a van um, but just know that there are gonna be more expenses than just the purchase price and don't be um, you know bummed out about it because it just it happens it's just what you ha you have to factor in and say an extra I don't know 250 bucks a month or something like that um, on average for uh, just things that pop up or pop like a tire all right Josh this is just for you I'm stopping by the Santa Monica School District to see if one of these is for sale or the one back over at the dealership but these are exactly what you're wanting so um, Cross my fingers, let's see if there's something they're willing to sell. Boom, These are. this is a receipt. Uh, they did charge me dealer prices. Had I known in advance that uh, this was the case, I could have saved, shoot, I don't know, a lot of money, because I think online on Amazon they're selling them for like 70 bucks or something, and uh, paid 240 for two of them. Uh, or I should say front and rear, so. Anyways, long story short, um, yeah, I'm just happy to to have you know fresh pads on here. I'm happy to uh, be safe um, because you know the guys are coming with me. I don't want any issues whatsoever. So I would rather pay a little bit more for the peace of mind. I'm not trying to cut all corners here, <laughs> but uh, like I said, uh, apparently Motocraft, uh, the original Ford stuff, is the one to get. By the way, just want to show you guys where I parked for the afternoon. I'm going to do some editing. I'm on PCH. Santa Monica is right there. Uh, Malibu is this direction, and Topanga is over that hill. Topanga is kind of like a uh, little hippie area uh, in this in this park. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. My future depends on subscriptions and viewers. Uh, so I will keep fighting the good fight, which is to try to make interesting content for you guys. As you can see, real life happens like brakes and uh, license plates and little little things like that. So anyways, uh, in a couple days, we're hitting the road. Uh, me, Josh, Cody Buffington, we're going on a trip and I think they're gonna come with me for like two or three weeks. So that's gonna be amazing. Me and Josh had a good conversation. And I just gotta tell you guys how amazing of a person Josh is. Uh, basically, I told him my situation. I was like, <laughs> I put everything on the line, risked it all, uh, and I can make it to the end of the year, another six months, um, to try and make it work. So he really wants to help me, and I am so grateful for someone who understands the hustle that I've been doing and understands all the hard work and, and investment that I've made into this to make this, to manifest this as a career that I want. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much, Josh. And uh, to Cody as well with these uh, generous uh, collabs and posts and all the help. So anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow.